Hello, this is Greg at the Bad Rock Chop Shop, and I'm going to go over how I installed the uh, Fast EFI Retro Kit from Z Car Depot in my 280Z. Um, first thing we got going, I'm going to start. I'm going to work from uh, back to front. Um, so down underneath there, you probably can't see in the exhaust. You'll have to install a uh, oxygen sensor. They provide a bung that you go ahead and uh, drill a hole in the in the exhaust and weld the bung in there, and the sensor clips right in there. Um, as I was here, I also did put an uh, EGR plate. I took the EGR off of there. Um, again, I'm trying to clean up the motor bay, so I just wanted to kind of clean up the top of this motor, so that was one of the things I did take off. Um, here, this is the idle air control valve. Um, you can see it, it's right here. Um, I made a bracket that I bolted right in, that bolts right into the, uh, the intake um, with a little heat shield down here, a little bracket for that. Um, you can see the uh, the source, uh, the vacuum source comes right off of where the old idle air control valve was. Um, the MAF sensor here, um, I went ahead and made a bracket there, bolted it right up there, and then again you can see here is the, the uh, vacuum source that you're going to hook up to that from the intake. Um, as we go down the line here, this is the uh, throttle position sensor. Um, there's a bracket that they provide you that the throttle, presents, the throttle position sensor will bolt right up to the throttle body. Um, and here is the coolant temperature sensor. It's another uh, adapter that you're going to get that's going to bolt right in there. As you can see, it's right back in here. Um, the next sensor is going to be the uh, air temperature sensor which is gonna you're just gonna cut a slit right in the silicone boot and uh, stick it right in there as you can see I did upgrade the uh, air system to a can in cold air intake system with the silicone boots and the aluminum pipe um, the next thing would be uh, your I mounted my uh, tack sensor right here which is uh, hooked up to the negative side of the coil um, you go ahead and that sends the signal to the computer, uh, the RPM, so it can make the adjustments on that. Um, as we go down, as they say in the, uh, you're going to want to, you can see the battery over there, you're going to want to directly hook your ICU up to the battery, the positive and the negative. That's one of the things they want you to do. Um, as far as uh, things, this is the sheet that they provide you. Um, all the questions, you know, that the, that the computer is going to ask you, and you're going to go ahead and punch the data in, and kind of this is kind of a uh, uh, the EFI settings and guidelines quick reference page that they provide you. And uh, on the inside of the car, I have the ICU mounted in the same spot that I took the old ICU out. Um, it goes right in the same spot. Um, you can see right here, this is uh, where the old uh, it, the old uh, harness was hooked up to, so you'll unplug that. And in here, there is a switch source, an ignition switch source. You can see the wire I got going right to it right there, so that'll activate the uh, ICU when you start the car. Um, one thing here is the handheld. Uh, this is gonna what you're gonna use to uh, program your computer with all the parameters um, that that ask you. It's gonna kind of give you a a, um, a bunch of questions. You're gonna go ahead and answer it, like cubic inches, uh, displacement, you know, RPMs you wanted at idle. Um, out of the whole system. I'm not. I'm gonna. Ha I'm gonna do the upgraded touch screen. I'm not too. I don't really like this. It works, but I want to put something in my uh, console here that I can watch uh, real time data. And uh, you know, with the they have a nice touch screen upgrade kit that you can get from them. Um, I think it should have probably come with that originally, considering how much money I'm paying for this system. But still. I'm still really happy with the system. Um, 
it really definitely did clean up my motor compartment. I'm happy with that. Um, all the things I did take out of the vehicle. Um, I ended up taking out uh, the old air control box. This is the old ICU, a module that was hooked up to the ICU. So look, their, their boots that hooked up the uh, throttle body and the, um, their air sensor. Um, this is the idle, old idle air control valve. Um, this is a uh, air regular an air box. The old wiring harness, um, old the old uh, injectors, and the car or in the charcoal canister. Yeah, so I took all this stuff out cleaned up that motor um, so you'll be getting rid of all that stuff um, but yeah I mean as far as the overall system the way it worked it seemed like it fired right up um, I'm still it's still in the process of uh, learning the program and learning the motor and making its adjustments so uh, yeah I'll just I'll keep you updated on some more uh, projects I have on the car but yeah that's one of the first major ones I've done and it seems like it's gonna Get it running really good. The only problem with me running it right now outside is that there's a foot of snow. So I'll be waiting on that and I'll keep you updated on my progress. Uh, this is Greg. Thank you very much. Bye.